Good morning. Today is the 16th day of Ramadan and I have decided to try to fast today. Um, we got a couple of requests in our YouTube comments and on Instagram that we try fasting just for one day to see what the experience is like since we're here during Ramadan. So today is the day that I am going to give it a shot. Fasting, what that means for everybody at home, Muslims fast for 30 days for Ramadan. Fasting means that from sunup to sundown, that you don't put anything inside of your body. So you don't eat, you don't drink, you don't take medicine. It's important to know that if you have any kind of health issues, if it's not safe for you to fast, you don't have to do it. Um, if you are young, you don't have to do it. So it's not required that you, um, that you fast absolutely. Just if you're healthy and well, you should do it. And then if you choose not to, there are other ways that you can participate in Ramadan by saying extra prayers or by feeding somebody who is needy in your area. So um, there's really a lot more to it than just fasting for 30 days. My sahur, my breakfast, so this is my meal before dawn, starts at 3.54 today. So that's in just about seven minutes. So I am about to have my breakfast. It is 3.58 and fasting started four minutes ago. I had some hard boiled eggs and I had a yogurt and some coffee and then I drank a whole bunch of water since you're not supposed to drink any water um, until tonight and then dinner time for me is 719 so why am I doing this um, I'm not just fasting because people suggested it on social media when we found out that we were here for Ramadan we were surprised we weren't really sure what to expect we also thought that things would be open by now and that we'd be out and about here in Morocco. Um, but obviously that didn't happen. We're still here. And I was talking with Terry who runs Middle-Aged Runaway. Um, we're friends on Instagram. He's a really great guy and he was telling me that he has decided to fast for the entirety of Ramadan because he wanted to get the full experience of what it would be like. So I think it's really cool that he's doing that. Um, he gave me a couple tips to make it more successful, but I don't think that I can successfully commit to more than a day, at least for right now. That's what I'm offering and that's what I am going to do today. I think the flip side of it, especially in this situation with the coronavirus, we're all so unhappy about being in confinement, not being able to go out. I think we forget how lucky we are that we have plenty of food to eat, if we have plenty of food to eat, that we have a safe place to stay. And that for us, specifically for me and Ryan, the effect that the coronavirus has is that we have to stop traveling for now and that we have to stay in an apartment. But a lot of people out there have it a lot worse than we do. So, you know, it's a, maybe a show of gratitude that just for a day I'm going to participate in this fast. I am counting on my sense of gratitude to be what gets me through the day today when I'm hungry to remember how lucky I am that every other day I have plenty of food. One of the other points of, um, of Ramadan is that while you're fasting, you are also supposed to be nice and kind and generous to the people around you. So today my goal is going to be to fast, so not to put anything in my body, no food, no water, no medicine, and also to be nice and kind to my husband while I'm doing this. So I don't get to use being hungry today or thirsty today as a crutch or as a reason to be unkind to my husband. So let's see how that goes. So it is four o'clock in the morning now. Um, we've been officially fasting for about six minutes and there's just a couple hours to go. Just a quick status update. It's a little bit after 10 o'clock and so far so good. Um, I'm thirsty, I would love to drink some water, but I'm not hungry, so I guess my breakfast did its job. 
Time for a status update. It's 12.45 and right around now is normally when I would be having lunch and I'm not gonna lie, I am super hungry. I would really like to eat something or drink something, but I'm almost nine hours into the fast, so I'm more than halfway there. I'm doing really well and I'm super proud of myself. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I got. So for my friends at home in the States, it is five o'clock PM right now. For my friends here in Morocco, it's 17 o'clock, I think is the right way to say it. Um, and I am just here to give you a status update. So I'm doing okay, I think, on fasting. Normally by now, I would have had two meals. I would have had at least two snacks um, because I really like snacks. And I would have had probably a liter of water and also some green tea. So it's definitely a different experience for me being without all of that. It's really not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm not super hungry, but I keep having to stop myself from grabbing my water bottle because that's so normal for me. So we're about a little over two hours away from having dinner and having water. I'm really excited about that. I'm doing okay. It's not so bad. It is... 5.45 for my friends in the States, 17.45 for my Moroccan friends, and 45 minutes ago, I made an update video that said, I'm doing totally fine, and now I am super hungry and really thirsty, and I'm amazed at how quickly everything changed in 45 minutes, but we're almost there. It's less than two hours. I know that I can do it. I just need to keep reminding myself to be grateful, um, but this just got really tough, so I will check in with you in a little bit. It is 6.46 or 18.46, depending on what time scheme you follow, and it's time to make dinner. I am not having a traditional iftar because I didn't trust myself to be in the kitchen and cook for that long and not accidentally have a bite of something. So I'm just gonna make a really quick and easy lentil soup. That way I can throw everything in the pot and be ready to go in soon when it's time to eat. Great news, it is 7.28 and I made it. So I did the whole fast. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I've got dinner here. I have my lentil soup, but I'm pretty excited about it. I have some water. So this is my first sip of water since this morning. That's really good. I never knew that I could want water so much. I made it. I'm excited. I'm proud of myself. I have a lot of respect for people who do this for 30 days and mad respect for people who do this and go about their normal lives, go to work, work out, whatever it is that you normally do. If you fast on top of that too, then you are some kind of superhero. And I think that's really incredible. And then doing this today also gave me a lot of opportunities to reflect on how lucky I am that most of the time, whenever I'm hungry, whenever I'm thirsty, I can just grab whatever I want because really I am very lucky and very blessed to be here and to be in the situation that I'm in. And yeah, I know that's part of Ramadan is the gratitude and giving you an opportunity to recognize your gratitude, but that's something that's very real. So I'm gonna turn off the camera now and I'm going to have dinner. Ramadan Kareem to those of you who are celebrating.